I'm working on technology that would help children move by reading the signals off of their muscles and remember they can't they can't move their muscles very well but I can read those signals off and now because I know the computational field of signal processing I can say what if I could separate the good signals from the bad signals what if I could figure out what part of their muscle activity do they want what part don't they want and I take the part that they do want and I hook that up to a computer or a robot or an exoskeleton and now those things move better than the child can. I call that the virtual body project. We're trying to create a body for the child that is better than their own body. It's like a brain computer interface, but it's a brain computer interface that does better than the brain itself wanted to. But the point is we want to get it better and better and better and then be able to apply this to other diseases. So this is that to me, this is a, a great intertwining, a great meeting of, of the, the clinical, the neurosurgical and the electrophysiological clinical world and neur neurology world and electrical engineering, computer science, signal processing, robotics, where we are, are able to use the, these two technologies leveraging on each other. We'll learn something about robots. Maybe we'll learn how to make robots move better by learning this. But most importantly, we'll learn something about the kids.